Hi, this is Scott Kilos here, 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, we're back with another Operator Series video for the TID Radio TDH3. Now, this is the last of the setup steps that, we're, uh, that we've been going through, and, and what I mean by that is things that you want to do to the radio to set it up to your liking, whether, you, whether or not you want to beep, whether or not you want to voice, whether or not you want to roger beep, how you want the display to look, what type of display you want to have. These are all things that uh, are designed to set the radio up to to suit your needs. Um, now, moving forward after this video, we're going to get to the nuts and bolts of how to actually start programming items into the memory. Uh, we're going to start learning how to put simplex channels in and save them as a memory channel, repeater channels, different types of repeaters, and on and on it goes. Um, but before you put items into memory, and, and you can scan once you put items into memory, um, we want to make sure that we have our scan mode selected or the correct scan mode selected again to suit your needs. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is the different scan modes and how to set those up. So uh, what you're going to do to determine that is you're going to press the blue key and you're going to go to item number 17. I'm already there. So uh, we're going to look at the different scan modes that are available to you. Now, by default, um, looks like I already moved this around. By default, the radio is already set up for carrier operation, but just in case it isn't, or just in case you've changed it, I want you to consider maybe putting it here. So I'll, I'll talk about the three different modes here. So first we have carrier. What carrier is, is when you scan, what will happen is when it, uh, when the radio detects and breaks squelch on an active channel, it'll stay on that channel throughout the activity that's on that channel currently. And then once the radio goes, once the, the activity ceases and the channel goes dead, the radio resumes its scan and moves on to the next thing. Um, now that's a, that's a, the, that's the method I use on, on all of my radios, but there are two other modes that you need to be aware of. So we have scan mode, and the next one is going to be timeout. And what will happen here is the radio, now according to the manual, it says this. The radio, um, when it detects an active channel, will stop on that channel for a period of time. It doesn't say what the period of time is. But it looks like that period of time is about five seconds. So you're going through and you pick up an active channel and you're just getting interested and then it takes off and, and goes to something else. Um, I don't know I don't know anyone that, that likes that particular mode and I don't know anyone that uses that particular mode, but everybody seems to put it in their radio. So timeout is not a not a good one unless you really uh, really have a short attention span because I, I find that you know, if it is something that you want to listen to, by the time you get your head in the game and go to grab the radio and, you know, either key down or do something to stop the scan, it's already taken off. And hopefully you took note of where that was at or where that activity was. But, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. So um, that's timeout. Now, the next one that you have, let's, oh, I'm sorry, I started moving before I need to, okay, select that again. So we went over carry mode, we went over timeout, and the next one is going to be search. And what search will do is, well, in scan, when it goes to the next active channel, it'll lock onto that channel, it'll stay there, you'll hear the entire conversation, and then it'll just stay there. It, it won't go on to, to anything else. Now, that's, I guess, an in-between solution. It's not as effective as carrier, um, but some folks like that one. So regardless of which one appeals to you the most, I tend to find the carrier operation appeals to me the most. And again, by default, this does come uh, set up for carrier. Uh, but if not, you know, and you, you do need to change that for some reason, let's say you did have it in, uh, in search mode, getting to carrier, you just simply press the blue key again to drop the arrow down to the... Uh, the actual different uh, areas of the item and select CO and press the blue again and hit exit and you're good to go. So again, hit the blue key to enter menu, go to item number 17, hit the blue key again, cycle through the different selections. Hopefully you select CO, press blue again, press orange and you're out. So that is it uh, for the setup portion of the radio. And as I said, moving on to the uh, next in the operator series, we'll be talking about how to program in a simplex uh, memory channel and save that into the radio. So with that, I thank you for watching and listening. This is Scott, Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.